Hey everyone, it's Paul Sun Young Lee here. Welcome to my geeky basement. Thanks for joining me as I show to you what's in the box. For today's segment, I thought I'd mix it up a little bit. For those of you who've seen my previous videos, you know that whatever I unbox is usually something collectible or really geeky that's befitting for something that belongs in my geeky basement. However, this time around, something really special kind of came in the mail and caught me by surprise. Uh, this came in and uh, I had actually ordered it on Amazon a couple of days ago. and. With things being the way they are with the pandemic, there have been no real guaranteed delivery dates. So I thought I was going to be waiting for this thing for about a month. And to my surprise, it actually showed up a lot quicker than anything else would have uh, on Amazon Prime. Came today. I'm excited to unbox it. Um, and so let's get started. Now, for those of you with a trained eye, you might have already been able to guess what this is. It's a musical instrument of some sort. And uh, this is something I've wanted for a while. Um, Basically, uh, I'll open it up and I'll show you what it is. Box. Inside of a box. It's a very pretty box, though. And this, this might give you a bit of a clue as to what it is. Those of you who already play this instrument, probably laughing to yourself right now. Like that. Yes, it is a ukulele but it's not just your regular ukulele Ooh, they've really packaged it well I'm very glad to see um, it's weird getting musical instruments shipped to you through the mail um, I'm glad they, they they wrapped it up with it's got bubble wrap it's got uh, this foamy wrap around it too to keep uh, the instrument from being uh, scratched or damaged uh, the strings are attached let me see if I can get this off without wrecking it Ooh, look at that. It's got the, uh, the F cuts in it. This is a Cala brand tenor ukulele, actually. Oh, and there's a lovely, there is a lovely note. It's a personalized note. Right there, can you see it? It says, Paul, thank you for choosing JJ Music. Enjoy and stay safe, Carl. That's lovely. That's absolutely lovely. This is the first time I've ever gotten a personalized message from uh, a seller. And this is ChordBuddyCanada.com. This is a music store in London, Ontario. This is where this came from. And uh, it's quite lovely. Now, I've, I've wanted this, this particular type of ukulele for a while. Uh, for those of you who don't know, I actually do play the, the ukulele a little bit. Um, I first started in 2012 with this... Uh, I got a soprano ukulele way back when, uh, and this was um, anyways, uh, I got this uh, to learn while we were going on tour uh, for Kim's convenience. Uh, we we're going to be on the road a lot and I wanted to be a little bit productive and I'd always wanted to learn how to play musical instruments. So the ukulele made sense for me because I have tiny hands. Yes. Um, and a guitar was, I thought, a little bit too ambitious for me, and everyone was playing guitars, but not everyone was playing ukuleles, only the nerds and the geeks. And so I thought ukuleles were cool back then, and uh, I've never taken any formal lessons, but uh, once again, the internet is a lovely, lovely resource. So I learned to play um, chords, first of all, uh, uh, by you know, downloading some chords off the internet and watching YouTube videos and uh, learning proper fingering techniques. Oh, that sounds so dirty. But um, yeah, so I learned on this. It's a beautiful Ohana uh, soprano uh, ukulele. And the reason why it's the smallest and the most original of ukuleles, I picked it because I wanted to be, um, I wanted to start at the very beginning, the genesis of whatever, what this, this, this instrument was. And it was lovely. It was a lovely challenge. Um, but what I found was um, it, the, the frets, everything was just a little bit too small for me. And it was great, but because it's a soprano, it's a very high register. So if you want to sing along, it was difficult for me to do as well. So I went and while we were in Vancouver back in 2014, 
I actually went out and got a baritone ukulele, right? And this is closer to an actual guitar in terms of the sound. Um, uh, it's tuned differently uh, for the for the baritone. It's D G B E. Those are the the, the main tuning chords. And for the uh, soprano, it's G C E A. And so, if you know the notes on a soprano uh, ukulele, it's different than so a C on a soprano ukulele is different from a C on the baritone. And the bar baritone was great too. Um, I really quite. I really liked the sound of the baritone. It's easier to sing along to, but I always wanted a tenor ukulele. Um, I always wanted one of these. Um, I can't remember. I saw a musician play one of these on a YouTube video, and I just fell in love with this this teardrop sort of shape, uh, the coloring on it. And um, I could never really justify it. Like I never understood why some friends of mine had like five or six guitars or different instruments. And now I sort of get it because they sound different. They have different qualities, different strengths. And uh, depending on, you know, what mood you're in, you can play them. So I figured, why not? We're in, in, a, in a lockdown. Um, I was also inspired by my friend, Andrew Fung. I saw him, he, uh, he went and ordered another ukulele. He ordered a ukulele to start playing it again. And it kind of reminded me, you know, like if not now, when? So I got this, I'm excited to learn uh, you know how to play this instrument it, it's gonna be different it's the frets are bigger than the than the soprano you can see the size difference right here uh, it's got a longer neck that's for sure uh, and I'm got to tune it um, and it also has a uh, pickup so if I want to electrify it and amplify it and uh, play um, with, with an amp and, and a speaker, not that I ever would, but who knows, uh, I have that option. Anyways, uh, I'm really excited. This came really, really fast. I can't wait to start noodling along. Um, and uh, yeah, it's, it looks beautiful out of, the, out of the case. It's nice, it's solid. And um, yeah, so thanks for tuning in again. Um, you know, join me. Uh, next time, if I unbox another, if I, oh my God, I'm just rambling now. Um, thanks again for joining me in my geeky basement. Uh, if you like this video, please click like, subscribe below, leave a comment. I love comments and I try to answer all of them because I love the interaction between fans. Um, and, uh, you know, stay safe, be healthy, and uh, we'll all get through this together. Okay, see you.